Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the new trailer is here for the GTA San Andreas Mercenaries coming June 13th, as you can see by the title up there. Now, I wanted to play through this trailer, just watch it and see what it's all about and then dive into it. But I did a test first and it turns out Rockstar claimed the video when I did the trailer by itself. So we're not going to just play the trailer. I will leave it linked in the description, though, so you can watch it after we've talked about it, or you can watch it first and then come back and we'll talk about it. Or you can have them both up, one on each screen. I don't know. But anyway, the trailer is here, like I say. So we're going to walk through this here together. We're going to be pausing it, discussing it, and um, we're just going to see what it's all about. I have watched it once through just so I could get some information and see what I wanted to talk about. But it's exciting stuff, man. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's get into it. Like I say, if you're one of those people that's going to be like, stop pausing it. I can't. If I don't pause, if I stop pausing it, then Rockstar's going to strike the video. So I apologize. But anyway, let's get into it. First and foremost, let's talk about the vehicles. This is literally their way of being like, okay, here's all our vehicles. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we have this vehicle right here, which is the new vehicle, which is based off of a Mr. Bishi uh, SUV. And I actually absolutely love this thing. I think it looks sick. Little two-door action. I like it. I'm definitely going to be picking this up. I don't know if they're going to be limited release vehicles like they did with the Acid Lab when they started doing all of those limited vehicles or if it's going to be... I don't know. But either way, I'm definitely going to be picking it up. Now, this one is the interesting one because I thought in the last little clips we got or pictures we got, as you can see from this picture I'll throw up on screen right here, this one, the purple car, makes it look way more futuristic. And everyone has been saying that this is the new EV, the electric vehicle, the new Dodge Charger or Challenger electric vehicle. And I was like, oh yeah, that makes tons of sense. But then I see it in this setting and it looks like a hot rod, like, <laughs> and it has an exhaust on the side of it here. So I don't know which one it is. But um, maybe they're two different vehicles. Who the bloody hell knows? But I hate the color. But anyway, so up top right here, as you guys can see in the middle, we have what I think is going to be the Beagle from GTA San Andreas. Obviously, this is not the Vellum. Um, you could think it's the Vellum just by looking at it, but the Vellum's wings are centered. They're not on top of the actual plane. This is definitely more like the Beagle. Again, I'll throw a picture up on screen right here. And then last but not least, can we focus on this right here? This looks like the Buckingham Canada, um, which is a great little helicopter, but the community have been asking for a weaponized version of this for so long. And it looks like you can see on the bottom here that this thing definitely has some missiles. So this could be a huge contender for things like the Buzzard and Sparrow for being like one of the best helicopters in the game. I mean, I'm definitely going to be picking this up. Definitely going to be customizing it. I think since they had said that in this new update, there's going to be a lot of things going on with the hangar. You're going to, it looks like you're going to be able to customize vehicles that we haven't been able to customize before. And this is going to be one of them. So I'm excited for that. The Canada. All right, let's continue on here a little bit. So first and foremost, we have the Avenger, which finally Finally, is going to have some use to it. You can see it looks like we have like a little mini gun on the bottom down here. But we, as we've seen from other pictures and from what we'll see later on as we're going through this little trailer here, this thing is going to be able to pack some weapons, man. This is going to have remote turrets on it. It's going to be a beast. So anyway, let's continue on here as we go through. San Andreas Mercenaries. Okay, so first things first in here, what you'll notice is you can see the thruster right here. So just like, you know, like the Kasaka, how you can store your helicopter and you can store your aquatic vehicles. Um, you have the thruster, so it's going to be able to be stored in here. Now, I've said in the past, this is one of the most useless vehicles in GTA Online. Um, but maybe everyone's going to end up buying this thing now that it's going to be stored in here. I'm pretty sure everyone will. So we're going to be picking that up myself as well. <laughs> and then also here on the left, you can see that we're using, it looks like, it kind of looks like the K.O. Perico board. You know what I mean? But I don't want to get ahead of myself and think this could be a high setup board. It could be just like the Terabyte. You know how you can launch missions and things from inside the Terabyte? It could just be the same as that. But we do get another view of this here in a second. But then in the background here, you can see that he's using the remote turrets or guns. So let's go and continue going forward. I mean, look at the weaponry on this thing, man. Let's go back there just a little smidget. Look at this thing. <laughs> finally, finally, right? This thing is going to be a beast. It's, it's about goddamn time. It's going to be basically like a mobile operation sensor is what it is in the sky. But anyway, let's continue. 
And right there, you can see someone controlling the turret. So this is obviously for the missiles and things like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. This is not a new vehicle. Looks like it's a Benny's version. And don't see much going on here until the explosion, I think. Yeah, so you see a jet come through there. But I don't think it's the new one. That's not the new one. I think that's the laser. That, though, is the new SMG. I think this is the new SMG we're getting. Now, other than the fact that this is a new SMG, can we talk about what do we think this mission is right here? There's a part of me that just really wants a heist inside of an aircraft carrier, but I, I, don't, I don't see any backpacks or anything on these guys, so maybe not. This would look like a new trophy truck, so a new off-road vehicle. Um, I just did my top five off-road vehicles video not too long ago. Uh, so I can't wait to test this thing out. It actually looks cool. It looks a little bit more nimble than some of them. So a uh, new trophy truck. That's cool. All right. And here we go with the stealth annihilator. And it is heading over to an aircraft carrier. And listen, when do we see this type of thing? When do we see a stealth annihilator like this heading somewhere? That's right. Just like this in the background that I'm playing you guys right now. This is me going in a stealth annihilator into the Keo Perico heist. So... I hope there's a heist on this thing. That would be sick to have a heist in the ocean. I've said it before. A lot of people said that they would love to own an aircraft carrier as kind of like a hangar where they can store all of their planes and stuff like that. That would be sick as well. Uh, but I really want a heist. But anyway, you can see we have a stealth annihilator heading over to the aircraft carrier right here. And then this part, again, makes me... It gives me heist vibes. Hold on, let me go back. Look at this. So if we look here, it says Meriwether Security. And if you tilt your head, it would look like this is an aircraft carrier right here on the side. Now, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it even more, I'll throw it up. I'll throw a picture up on screen. I'll turn it around. It just looks like Fort Zancudo. It looks like Fort Zancudo. But it would seem from this trailer, we're going to get into it here a little bit more as we go through this trailer. But it would see we're just attacking all of the like the Meriwether bases, basically. We have the aircraft carrier. We have Fort Zancudo. Kudo. We're going to have some of the military bases that you'll see here in a minute. But this is definitely a mission board. Whether or not it has a heist in there, I, I honestly, I want it so bad. But part of me just is like, nah, you're not going to get a heist. They would have talked about it. They would have pushed it in the trailer if you were going to get a heist. But with that being said, Rockstar has said that there is more information that they can't wait to share with us. So over the next few days leading up to the release of this, we are going to get new information. So it could be. But again, we have that, the, the contract board, I would say, right here. And then you can see someone's hand in the background over here. Remote turrets and same thing over here. All right, let's continue. Yeah, so remote turrets. So that was interesting. So this is the Alcanist with a carpet bomb. But look where we're doing this. If we, if we look here, this is the base that is right next to... If you own a bunker... Uh, the one next to the freeway, the one I own. I'll show it up on screen right here so you know what I'm talking about. I'll probably jump into game to get some footage of this, but you guys know where it is, what I'm talking about. So yeah, it looks like it would be this area right here, which I'm sure they're probably going to update a little bit, possibly. Um, but this is where it is on the minimap. This base right here. Uh, but this is a Meriwether base that we're carpet bombing with an Alcanist. So that's interesting. And it looks like this helicopter over here, once again, is the Canada, the Buckingham Canada, the militarized version of it, which is kind of cool. Usually in missions like this, we always see like a hunter or the, the buzzard. But it looks like they've switched it up now and we've got this Canada, which is cool. So yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here, but obviously we're just taking out one of the Meriwether bases. And there's the thing that I think people are going to be most excited about. VTOL Thruster on the new jet. The F-35 I've been talking about. I think it's the F-35B that has the VTOL Thruster on it. Um, so obviously it's, it's the GTA version. It's like a mixture of a bunch of different planes. Um, because the other, I think the F-35B has one in the middle, in the center too. But either way, we have it. It's confirmed. It has VTOL, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see right there. What a beauty. We're flying through here. This is the interesting part because there is a skin 
Uh, that looks really cool. But let me just see here. Does it tell us any information that we don't know? Okay, so we do see the weapons here. We have front cannons, which are the shoulder weapons I was talking about. Those cannon, like machine Gatling gun type style weapons that sound amazing. We have missiles and we have homing missiles. So pretty standard. Same thing you get on like a buzzard. This is a really, really cool heads up display. I will be honest. That looks sick. All right, now let's see the new skin. And there it is coming through. Ooh, there it is, baby. So it's the VGA-25 is what I would assume is the name of this plane. This could just be the call sign. But do we think that's the call sign or do we think that's what this they're, what they're calling this? Instead of the F-35, the VGA-25? I don't know, but let's take a little look at this thing, man. I feel like we have to pull this playback speed here a little bit just so we can see it. Look at that. They're even going in slow motion. I bloody missed it. It's such a good looking plane, man, especially in that black. But here she is. What a beaut. <laughs> and it's got VTOL thrusters too, which is sick. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. The GTA Online San Andreas Mercenaries coming June 13th. So let me know what you think. Obviously, the Avenger right here is, I mean, it's about time that it's going to be weaponized and have much better weapons on it. But it looks like it's got turrets. It looks like it's got a command center in it. This is something that I think everyone's going to be excited for, not only because it's going to be a decent, you know, plane to use to destroy things, but having a command center, it looks like that's what it's going to be the main use. Obviously, we have some missions right here. We know that we're taking on Meriwether, right? We know we're taking on Meriwether. So I'm assuming we're going to go to all of the missions are going to be taking out Meriwether. I just hope that the, the aircraft carrier right here, man. I just hope that this has something more to it than just dropping it. It's a stealth. We have a stealth annihilator. Why would we need a stealth vehicle? to fly on over to here. You know what I mean? If we weren't trying to land in there and do some sneaky missions. I do think this is going to be some sort of heist, though. I still, deep within my bones, I feel like this is some sort of heist. I don't know. But either way, the Buckingham Canada weaponized is a really cool thing. The new Beagle, I I mean, it's just going to be, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. I absolutely love this Mitsubishi. I can't wait to test out this either, though, even though it's not, I don't know. I'm more excited about this, to be honest with you, the SUV. But that's it for this trailer breakdown, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Like I say, I'll leave the actual full trailer so you can watch it all the way through uh, in the description also. But we have a confirmed V tall new fighter jet i know a lot of people are going to be excited about that the just the, the control panel in the avenger gets me excited i really hope we have some sort of even if it's like a mini heist i'll be happy with that the fact that you can see even in this trailer that you're having to work as a team which makes me think there's going to be things you can either choose to do it solo or with the team makes me think come on there's there's got to be some opportunity for some decent money i think rockstar feels like they made a mistake with the ko perico because it pays so much and it's not that difficult to do so maybe they don't want to make something that pays that much again so maybe we will never get something as fun and lucrative as the ko perico heist ever again and that's why i absolutely love the ko perico heist but even if it's a small heist in here they just need to make something that's worthwhile either make it really fun so people want to do it again or make it pay a lot so people want to do it again even if you make the cooldown a full real in-game day so you you know you can't spam it every day make it pay a lot but you can only do it once a real day. I'll be happy with that. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider hitting the like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And turn on the notifications so you know when I upload more videos just like this one. I hope you guys are excited. Let's have a discussion in the comments section down below. And I'll see you guys, as always, tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye!